Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video and welcome to my first game on the new Kale. So we're using the Judgment skin, which a lot of people say is the best one and hell it looks cool. Um, so I do have Judgment on my main account, so I'm quite happy about this. Um, and obviously the Smurf, uh, which has the buff, the, the, the League Partner buff, that might have like everything. Um, so Kale, I've already seen there's a little bit mixed reaction to if she's good, if she's bad. Apparently she's like a god at level 16, which people predicted, but she's apparently very weak up until then, which again, we kind of predicted. We're against a Riven in the top lane with Ignite, which I I think I'm going to struggle against. Like no, no matter how good this player is, the actual matchup, how am I going to out-trade her no matter what, really? I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to, um, but we'll see. We shall see. So I am melee. At the moment. I'm going to go E level 1. Because I just think I need some form of ranged. Uh, in case I get zoned off. Which I'm guessing I'm going to get zoned off. Uh, just to also make the point clear. Um, please take these testing with a, you know, pinch of salt. Because obviously I am on the PBE. Which means I've got 100 MS. I'm used to playing with 20. So that's obviously 5 times the lag that I'm used to. Um... And also, the quality of the game is, you know, we don't know. This isn't on my main account with Diamond players. This is going to be a mixture of players thrown together. Um, so, yeah, we, we don't know how this is going to go. This could be a um, stomp. So, yeah, I don't know. Bro. So, this one is... Hits two... Wait, is that the one that hits two targets now? Oh, no, that does AoE. Okay. Yeah, you can see I, I really don't really want to fight. Uh, we are, by the way, using the brand new Conqueror. That Riot, you know, was like, oh, Conqueror's broken. Let's make it stronger. Question mark balance team. Uh, Kit Dracos, thank you much, ma'am. Oh, that was a bit laggy. If we survive the early game, I think we'll do good in late game. Ozzy Cannon. Uh, hopefully... Uh, he's okay. I really don't want to fight. Because if Pantheon showed up, we'd definitely lose that 2v2. No. That feels like... I don't know if it's the lag that I've got on the server, but that feels like really delayed that Q. Is there a wind-up time to cast it now? Uh, Mac thing? Hmm... I wonder what I max. Do I max E? Possibly. It's E or Q. I think it would be E, right? That is so laggy. Max E. Yeah, I thought it would be. It's the exact same as old Kale. So I do have teleport. She doesn't. So I don't have to be scared if I need to go back. Oh, does E do animation cancelling as well? Okay. Oh god, you, I'm, it's really hard to adjust. I was I pressed E to then auto attack her from range like m continuously, and then I was like, wait, it's changed. Never mind, I can't do that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh. That was unfortunate lag. Like. What the? Okay, it feels really delayed. Hmm. It feels like that's point and click, but it's supposed to be your next attack, which I presume is your next auto attack. Odd. I don't really want to use my TP now if I don't have to. That's Wow, that gives a lot of movement speed. How much did that give? Gain 26 point plus 4% movement. So that scales off your ability power as well. So I'm getting 30% movement speed for 2 seconds, which will only get stronger as the game. Wow, that's pretty good. That's very good. So far, again, I'm not really getting punished. I don't know, you know... Oh, rip. 
I don't know if this Riven player is like going easy on me on purpose. I, I don't know. Again, I'm not, there was no instruction to let people go easy on me. I, you know, I said nothing. This is just a game with people from the stream. Um, but I think the Riven definitely could be punishing me more. But I have been playing very passive, so... So, yeah, the new Conqueror. Oh, there, there's Exalted. Oh, Huzzy Cannon. I honestly... Oh, there's the upgrade. We just gained booty wings. Look, we got wings. Oh, my God, we got two swords. That's so cool. I think there should be something else. Is there an indication when you're Exalted? Hang on. Yeah, okay, so you get... So, we now got the, the E when we're Exalted. Oh, so that is a... Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that makes sense. That is uh, not a point and click anymore. The Q, that's what's been throwing me off. It's a it's a skill shot. Okay. I took up my mother's soul and with it. Ah. If you were innocent, I would not be here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God damn, Zoe. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, we got him. And the ult worked too. We did damage with it. We saved the Casio. Nice. Very nice. Where's Riven gone? I don't know. Yeah, we're going full AP. I think that is the way you're going to play her. Uh, she overstayed in mid lane. Damn. So, how many stacks do you need to get exalted? Five. I can't get away. God damn. Feel like, again, I don't want to say and make excuses, but the lag is really annoying when you're trying to get away from a Riven. It's basically impossible to get away. And again, this is why the PB isn't perfect testing conditions. Mm -hmm. She got a plate. We need that level 11, and then I can think, you know, the champion will get abundantly better. That's pretty cool. Hazy Cannon. I think she could be a pretty good at tower chunking, especially, well, gone level 11. Watch this, let's see. Wait, oh my god, you don't get exalted stacks from towers, never mind. Huh, why won't you get exalted stacks from tower? Weird. Nice. Okay. When you use your E with exalted, it does AoE. Like, right now. Mm. Red, Red said she has the worst early in League. Uh, it'll be one of, yeah. Again, I'm not going to make a statement like that, because this is my first game playing it. Um, but she'll definitely have one of the, one of the weakest early games, because in her champion design, it's not meant to be early game. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I want to make that clear. Are blinded by their own misery. She's got oh. Why did he keeps going for really like long gank paths that I can just run away? Goodbye, farm. I'm just gonna go with like basically the old standard build on Kale and see how it goes. Like, it might still be the exact same build. Again, the champion hasn't changed that much. 
Um, when you get to level 11, you pretty much are just a buffed version of your old self. So, yeah. The only thing I could think of, in especially let's say I was on my main account, if I'd be definitely getting punished more by this ribbon if it was a diamond ribbon. Um, so maybe you'd have to go more defensive in the early game. Possibly. Not bad damage, though. Oh. The Q delay is really weird. Again, that could just be the lag that I'm experiencing being on this server, but I don't think it is. That timing. Pantheon had to show up literally right then. Damn. Got a kill though, which is nice. Pre-11. Um... Nice. Yeah, completed item. You have been ganking. Yeah, Riven might need a uh, um Kale might need early ganks if you want to have her like have a lot better lane phase. And this Pantheon's what ganked me three or four times. I haven't had any, but it's fine. Yeah, no, it's a really short invulnerability. I think that has been nerfed. Or well, it feels like it. Two seconds. But it does damage now. But yeah. Do I think she could work mid? I think in certain matchups, yeah. Um, Like against Zed, Talon maybe. Like you'd have to be careful in the early game, but you've got to be careful in top lane. So um, why do I feel like I'm going to get, get getting ganked again? It's not bad damage, you know. The future is for the repentant. <laughs> We're nearing level eleven. Obviously, we really want level sixteen. That's where Kale starts to do true damage. But level eleven is like a really big buff. Dude, that's really long. The damage is high. Who's got Predator? What? No, none of them have Predator. What? The righteous path begins with none of the enemy team have Predator, but it's saying be careful of Predator. Uh, Zoe picked it up. Wait, she can pick up Predator? Okay, I was unaware of that. Huh. Okay, so that's a really weird inconsistency. Killing wards gives you exalted stacks, but killing towers doesn't? Why? I don't know. Why is one and not the other? We're nearly there, man. We nearly become Kale. <laughs> we nearly become a champion is what it feels like. Nah, Kale is still going to be a very much an auto-attacker. 
Again, when you're doing true damage per auto attack at level 16, you want to auto attack as... Uh, we're ranged! We're ranged! Yes! We're finally being able to bully! <laughs> it's literally like the moment you hit level 16, you can then just like become a champion. <laughs> That's hilarious. How many people are ganking me? <laughs> Three people. I feel really strong, though. I'm going to be honest. Instantly, I felt stronger. The whole lane phase, I've had to play passive. And then instantly, I was like, wait, I have damage. You can literally feel it. Nearly killed Riven, though. If I had, like, flashed up earlier, I would have. <clears throat> so that's kind of crazy. Just wait until level 16. Level 16 is where you want to be. Will I try Lethal Tempo? I really don't think anything's going to be better than the new Conqueror on her. Like, the new Conqueror is literally perfect for the new, like, for Kale. I'm not kidding. Like, it's crazy. So, yeah, I don't really know if I'm going to. Because I already think we know what she's going to need and want. Q still feels weird though, but it, again, it's my first game, so it might feel more normal as time goes on. Oh, dude. That was a really weird use of... Uh... Really weird use of Rift Herald. Because even like even if Panty didn't come, Riven could have cancelled that, so. Oh, I feel so strong. God, I'm strong. What the hell is this? This champion's crazy at level 6. It, all it takes is to get to level 16. That's hilarious. I, I've never known a champion in League of Legends to feel so weak. Then one level makes them arguably insanely strong. That's hilarious. Like, obviously, every champion in the league has power spikes, but I... <laughs> you literally become... Uh, level 11, I meant. Sorry, level 11. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I meant level 11, not level 16. But that's insane. And then... That next... Yeah, just wait until level 16. But even level 11, way stronger. This might, yeah, people on Twitch are saying, this might be the first champion ever that most of League of Legends YouTubers clickbait actually is true. Because most when the time, like, this champion is overpowered, Riot, what are you doing? It's just clickbait to get views. This might be true. <laughs> Whoa. Of 
Jesus Christ. Again, just to remind people, I'm not really, I'm not fed this game. Like, not re I'm, I'm strong, but I'm not fed. Imagine, like, if I was getting jungle ganks all in early game and I won my lane. Snowball potential of this champion might be a bit ridiculous. And her tower pressure isn't bad either. So, her, yeah, basically you have to kill her before level 11 a lot. Otherwise, she's probably going to take over the game. Ooh. Give me a bit more time, maybe. Give me a bit more time. Give me a bit more time. We'll get to that crazy, like, I can kill everything stage. Oh, the flash. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, this could be a Huzzy champion. This could be a Huzzy champion. Da -na -da. Again, I've always liked Kale. It's not like I've never played it. In, in Season 3, she was one of the champions that I got diamond with. Like, one of the champions that helped me get diamond. I played her a lot back then. It was like Kale, Lux, Rise, and like a couple others, Lee Sin. <coughs> so I do have history with this champion. Yeah, you can't auto-attack when you ult yourself, I don't think. Or can you? I don't know. I think you can. Because it's not a, like, it's not a, a, it's not like a Zonya's. It's just an invulnerability. Right? They will break against my yeah, I'll get Rune and after. I'm gonna... You can't? Really? Oh. That's changed. So again, that might go to another that she might be... She might be more of a team fighting champion now. If she can't do damage when you ult yourself. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I guess... The, the, the Riot's argument is instead of doing damage when you auto with your ulting yourself, you're doing damage with the big boom. Instead. Damn. I want level 16. I'm going to keep farming. I just want to see how much damage you do with the true damage. One more level. Yeah, by the way, I don't... It's not like I've got a lot of AD and AP. Damn it! I thought I was out. Oops. Well, first impression game. Again, this is my first ever game on the reworked Kale. Uh, her late game is going to be near un unstoppable. I don't know if we... we like, this game isn't really going to show off the level 16 true damage because we're already really fed. But I think it could be kind of ridiculous. To be honest. Oh, he lived. Hmm. Yeah, how much how much AP did I have with full stacks of Conqueror? I'm gonna look. Let's see. So I'm not getting stacks. Jeez, uh, oh, we're level 16. Okay, here we go. We now do true damage. Become permanently exalted. Fire waves deal true damage. So I permanently now do AoE damage. And this is now true damage. Oh, I want the enemy team to fight me. Fight me! I need ult though, I think. Oh, 
Dude, do you see how much damage I did without ult? I nearly murdered two people with three auto attacks. Oh. <laughs> uh, if I had ultimate, that would have been a lot better, but oh my god. Whew. Q's a skill shot now. There are going to be probably some Kale players that are unhappy about that as well. So I nearly had 400 ability power with full stacks of Conqueror. Dude, Conqueror is busted. The Riot Balance team strikes again. All right, you can you can just end. You can end. But oh, wow. Okay, yeah, Kale feels good. Um, again, this game, I will say, again, not perfect example. Lane phase... We didn't really get bullied a lot. The Riven just kind of left me alone. Again, if I was in my main account, I was against a, a high diamond Riven, like I often am on my main account because they're really popular to one trick, then yeah, Kale is going to struggle a lot. I think pretty damn hard, by the way. But if, you know, what this game can highlight is how strong her mid late game is. Like, her late game is ridiculous. Look at this dragon. It's just melting. Like,. Crazy. Yep. Yep, 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 wow. What the hell? I don't even have Runin yet. Oh my god. I'm in a kind of state of shock. That was so much damage. Wow. <laughs> Twitch chat. All right, Kale ban it is then. Yeah. Um. So again, want to make the point clear. I don't want people to blow out this video out of complete proportion. I'm not doing that. We knew by like how they were announcing her, her, her late game was going to be insane. But what I would say is we got to late game relatively easily in this game. I should have, and if I was playing again in my in my proper rating, I'd be getting punished more for the early game weakness. We didn't. Like we got ganked a bit. You know, the Riven I think killed me once. So her early game is very weak, and in in a proper game, I'd get punished more. But what this game does highlight is if you do end up getting too late game, she's an absolute monster. Combining it with a new Conqueror, <laughs> I think we potentially have the new strongest late game champion. Potentially. Um, so damage wise, we do uh, <laughs> quite a lot of damage. Jesus. Um, and we go 15-6-6. Wow. Okay. Damn. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed and you potentially want to see more, throw a like on the video. Uh, you know, the more likes, the more willing I'll be doing it. And obviously I'll be looking to potentially play her on my main account when it gets released. Uh, but the next game I'm going to play... Oh yeah, let's look, let's look at the rune. Conqueror. I did, uh, so I did 1700 true damage with Conqueror. I did 1700 damage uh, healing and the damage that we did were actually like the actual benefit of the rune is the true damage we did s nearly 700 damage extra that would have been otherwise mitigated by armor or magic resist as true damage that's pretty good oh wow well anyway that's gonna be that again like the video subscribe comment down below what do you think of kale again i know a lot of people are gonna go yeah, her late game is overpowered 
potentially do think her late game is a bit too strong. Uh, but her early game is very weak. So is that balanced enough? I don't know. But yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. See ya.